Okay. So hey, we are on this video cast with Suzanne. That's a great thing about highly sensitive people. Yeah. You know, step yeah. in. Exactly. That's a great start. Yes. <laughs> it's the uh, informal way and we like that. So uh, today with Mark Miracle, you already saw him and um, uh, he is the expansion ultra performance leader um, with his great, great project, uh, Zephyr Project. And I'm Suzanne, um, legacy leader and um, the founder of the International HSP Center. HSP stands for Highly Sensitive People. And prior, we were already discussing um, uh, high sensitivity in the high achievers world, in the technical world. And um, I am curious in what way high sensitivity can sometimes hold you back in um, expressing yourself in this world or how it can be sometimes um, be perceived or felt like an obstacle? Um, when it's about achievement, most of the people you work with are also high level achievers and they wanna to go to the next step, you know? They're like pushing forward. And, um, but what you feel inside is that it's a, uh, it's too fast you need like more time you feel something but you don't know how to express it you feel that something's wrong somewhere you know it's like really deep intuition emotions and on the other side you see this person or this company pushing forward because they they want to step in because what you maybe provide what they can get from you as a high value for them but on your side you feel that something's weird something is like um, mm -mm, there's some warning somewhere you don't know where it comes from you know it's little things this little signs I, I love to speak about because these little signs are keys for the future it can be a big gain a big success or in the meantime this little sign will be the failure of tomorrow it will be the first sign that your intuition can 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 grab, and uh, when you're in this um, situation, uh, what I learned was uh, not to respond because you're so overwhelmed. You're like in the corner, and the other is like pushing, pushing, pushing. And what you want to do is release the pressure. So at this point, you might be able to say, "Okay, yeah, that's that's nice. Yeah, we can do that." Just because you you're stuck there and uh, you make a decision. But actually, nobody has to make a decision at this moment, at this very moment. You are in a weak position because you're overwhelmed with emotions and someone is pushing and telling, yeah, that's the right thing to do, do it now. Just sign here, you know, at the bottom of the paper. It's okay, it's all good, all under control totally align, yeah, step in and say, okay. Actually, you don't have to say, okay, you got time. Even if you have the, the, the pen in your hand, just like say, and force yourself to say, okay, I need some time. Because that will help you just to put the dots together, connect the dots and uh, really allow the emotions to build something within you, which is like building your intuition and it will give you the answer. Meditate and you step out and you say, mm -mm, I'm in, den in danger or that's not the best for me or that's not the best for my vision or my project, you know? Um, so what I will say is uh, it's, uh, sometimes in the connection with the other it could be you could feel like being weak and vulnerable but at this moment just like say okay let's uh, have another meeting i need some time and think about it and then you can come back with something that is more balanced you know where the other one will be like okay um hmm. That's what I would say, if it makes sense. Yes, so the overwhelm feels like um, 
you uh, described as weak and vulnerable. And how yeah, you're, you're like in a fight, you know? Mm -hmm. It's uh, achievers, who has the control, who's like uh, the leader, you know? Yeah. Can you give another example of overwhelm? Um, let's say you have, you have an idea that you want to achieve and you think that that's a good idea and you work with some other people. What I would say is that you want to do this and your emotions push you to maybe impose your idea to the others. Say, okay, that's a good thing. I, I have this feeling, I have this deep intuition. We need to do that. And you're so pulled forward because of your emotions and what you can feel, that is the right thing to do. But maybe the others are not ready for that. And you need to be patient. Be patient. Like, okay, but you come back to this and you build your, your, your vision or what you have, your feeling, you make it stronger. But be patient. Because otherwise the others won't understand. They won't follow or they will follow just because you put so much pressure. And they say, okay, let's do that so we will be happy or she will be happy. But in their mind, it's not the right, right thing to do and it will never be. You know, so your intuition is uh, so deep that you can say very smart things, but maybe the others are not ready for that, you know, which is okay. I mean, you have like a ping, like the bright idea, like Einstein, but you're the only one to have it. You know, your, your, your connections have been very fast because of your childhood, your experience, because you, 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 you did some stuff in your life that helps you. To, to connect the dots um, faster than the others, plus your sensitivity. That allows you to perceive the world around you and you know feel where it goes, what it has to, well, I mean, that, that could be a solution there. So in this case, just like keep your vision in mind, it's very precious, precious. And stick to that and be patient, explain, try to even understand with the others your own vision you know, and with the time being, people will just uh, maybe follow your idea and, and make it happen collectively. So that's a, a weakness of wanting to do the thing that you see, which is, yeah, that's the right thing to do. And, uh, but it's not the right thing to impose that to the others. Yes, so then you recognize that you're on the edge of imposing and uh, wanting to act on it, or maybe not, that you feel that there's uh, some room not to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you uh, recognize your highly sensitive team members? The ability to listen, uh, being shy, uh, hiding, uh, being smart, like giving like good vision and, and ideas, you know. Um, and the connection is easier, you know. It's uh, when you have this kind of uh, ability to feel things, these people connect to each other naturally. So it's quite easy, <laughs> actually. <laughs> and it's a good thing, I mean, it's nice. Most of the people in the project have this kind of pro uh, profile. I know. Yes, so also in the core team. Yeah. Yeah, I can, uh, oh yeah. Can you give an example? <laughs> uh, if, I, if I take the example of Eric Baron, the downhill biker, world champion, <laughs> Eric is, uh, is highly sensitive highly sensitive you know he's done like crazy things that people i mean nobody's done that ever and i'm not sure that someone will do it tomorrow you know it's really a big big commitment going downhill at 228 kilometers an hour you know on a mountain bike on ice it's scary believe me it's really scary 
but he did that and he had to control his emotions. You know, it's such a commitment. And uh, Eric is a highly sensitive person. You know, and that's a way for him to express himself, to be alive, you know. What, what is his biggest talent? Biggest talent of Eric? Um, engaging himself and taking a risk, but controlling the risks. He's able to expose himself and be in control. Some, some other per persons will die, but he's in control. So that's, that's really amazing. And the other thing is, uh, is, is sensitivity. He can feel like so much, uh, so much emotions through the others. You know? So it's, he's a tough guy, strong man. But in the meantime, he's very sensitive. He can cry, like I would say easily. <laughs> and that's nice. I mean, to see tears in his eyes sometimes uh, when we are in really uh, deep and difficult moments or joy or just seeing each other. When we go and we see each other, we, we got tears in our eyes just by seeing each other. So it's, it's great. Yeah. 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 Good connection. Yeah. Mm. Uh, thank you for today, Mark. And Thanks a lot. Yeah. I hope it helps people somehow. I know for sure. And it's especially nice because it's in the, um, you're speaking about the high achievers world and the technical world. And it's so necessary to open this conversation um, within your field. So thank you. Yeah. And as well in our daily life, um, these uh, achieving challenges are about the same for everybody. You know, we all we all have our limits. My field is to break world records, but that's my that's my field. That's my limit. And for some others, that will be something that is less uh, impressive, but as difficult. It's, it's the same exact same for you, for all of us yeah so that's good news <laughs> yes that's a nice addition yeah mm. thank you very thank much you, Suzanne. okay yeah, thanks a lot mm. have a great uh, a great week bye bye